Okay, so for today I have a pretty fun little pattern that I like to tie for Stillwaters and Rivers, and it's a little shuttlecock pattern. Uh, and so you'll see in my hand I have a Umqua, this is a TMCO 2487. I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch the barb in the vise, and then place that hook in the vise. And I normally tie this fly on a 2488, but I only have those in a really small size and I wanted to tie something that you guys would actually be able to see on camera. So this is a size 16 and this is a size that I will use on lakes and sometimes on rivers too. I'm just gonna start my thread kind of in the middle of the fly, cut that off. This is basically a combination of Antonio Rodriguez's Emerger Midge and then uh, Devin Olson's Plyva Shuttlecock. So it's kind of a combination of those flies and I tie it in a bunch of different colors, but mostly I fish it in olive and black. So I'm gonna go down the bend a ways on this hook and then I'm gonna come back forward and then back down again, just to about where the barb would be or just past it. And I'm gonna take a piece of Mirage Tinsel and tie that in right there. Capture that, kind of run back up the shank. And this will just give like a little hot, like not hot spot, but kind of a little trigger point on this fly. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this around. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's kind of a, it's a little bit of a pain but we're just gonna do like a little bright spot on the butt of the fly. And then we'll go ahead and capture that with the thread. And we kind of go down and then back up. Trim that off. Make sure to clean up that, whatever's left there. Come back forward and then go back down the fly. Okay, next step is a small natural quill in olive. And I'll add that right up next to where that flash was, run back up, trim that off, and then go ahead and clean this up. Go all the way back, kind of make a natural taper to the fly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, the fish don't seem to mind. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our hackle pliers attach those to the quill and then gently set this down because those quills tend to break real easy. And then we're gonna take our super glue and just add a tiny bit of super glue on the body of the fly. And this just keeps it from getting destroyed by the fish's teeth as easy. And then we're gonna do touching wraps with that quill all the way back up and then capture that. And then we'll come in and trim that off. Clean this up a little bit. Next thing that we're gonna add is some glow bright number one. I've go, got a single thread here. I'm gonna double that over. You guys have seen me double this over before. So I've got it doubled in a loop like that. I'm gonna come in with my scissors. I'm gonna come in with my scissors, trim that off flush. So those two ends are lined up. And then come in just like this and capture that thread up on top like this. Now, the next step is to get some CDC. I've got three CDC fibers here and I'm going to cut the tips out. You guys have seen me do this before. So for each one of these, I'm going to come in and just cut that tip out like that. So now you've got to feather the tip gone because we don't want all those tip fibers. We want just the fibers, not the stem. So we're going to cut that out of all three. So now I've taken all three feathers and I've lined them up. 
So all those tips are lined up and I'm gonna bring these tips forward like this, right? I'm gonna switch hands. You can see all those fibers, tips are even. I'm gonna do kind of a pin trap here with all of those fibers pushing forward like that. Kind of come in and pull that and then you can kind of set it where you want. Do a couple wraps in front, make sure it's up nice and tight on top. And then I'm gonna come in, trim this off real tight like that. And then you can come back in. It's gonna to wanna to spin on you, so you gotta be real careful here. And you come back in and tighten all those down. Make sure that you have some wraps in front, kind of lock it in just like that. So you can see you got those fibers in there. Now we're gonna take our squirrel dub, just take a tiny pinch of the squirrel dub create a small noodle just like this and this is just basically to clean it up right right behind that come back forward do a couple in front now we're going to take this glow bright and we're going to go over the top and we're going to kind of split this wing a little bit you can kind of see it doesn't really matter but it's a good way of getting those up on top now we're going to come in with our thread go over the top a couple times pull it back, do it quite a few in front like this, and then come in with our whip finish tool, do a couple of whip finishes in there, just to lock that in place, just like this. Come on with our scissors, cut that thread off, pull this forward, we want just a little hot spot, trim that off like that, and then take all these fibers forward and just do a little pinch to make sure they're all even, trim them off, and that's your finished fly. So it's kind of a combination of uh, Devon's pattern, and I find it works great in rivers and on lakes. I'll tie it in bigger sizes. I'll show you guys real quick. This is the size I usually fish right here in rivers. A little bit smaller, but I didn't think you'd be able to see it on camera quite as well. So that's the finished fly. Get out there and tie it in a bunch of sizes, 18, 20, 16. It works a bunch of different colors, black, quill, whatever you can think of. It's a killer little pattern for picky fish. Get out there on the water and fish it.